So you want to stream to Twitch TV, but you don't know how much bitrate you should use, is what quality you should stream at, 720p, 1080p, 480p, what quality should you stream at, and it's even hard to know how much internet you need and how good of internet you need to even stream to Twitch TV. Well, in today's video, I'm going to be going over exactly what you need to know to be able to figure out what quality you need to stream at, what bitrate you should use, and what kind of internet you need to be able to stream to Twitch TV. That is because all of that is related to bitrate. The internet you need, the quality, everything, it relates back to bitrate. Twitch actually has a pretty good guide on bitrate and quality and all that, and I do have that linked as the uh, first link down below. However, I'm going to be going over it in depth in this video and giving you some of my personal experiences and what I've learned, stream myself to Twitch, to YouTube, all of that stuff for, wow, it's been like eight years now. So yeah, I've got quite a bit of experience here in doing this, so uh, yeah, I'm going to put my personal experience in there as well. So let's just go ahead and jump on into it. First things first, most streaming softwares, XSplit, OBS, for example, I have automatic determination. If you just go through their automatic setup, right, their help guide, like their wizard, there we go, like their configuration wizards, you are going to be able to get a good bit rate. They're going to determine that stuff for you. They're going to look at your internet connection. They're going to look at your hardware. They're going to look at everything about your computer to test what bit rate you need, where you should stream to, like what server on Twitch you should stream to, and what quality you should be streaming at. They kind of take it all and look at it and figure it out. And that's what I would recommend doing. I would recommend just going through the configuration wizard and trying to do a stream. And if it works out and everything's good and you're not lagging in game, your stream quality looks good, everything's on the up and up, you're done. Go ahead, use those settings. However, if you have any issues, if you're having some problems, that's when you can come to this video, start going through this tutorial, and really start to figure out exactly what you can change and like what bitrate is and how to fix things and things like that. So if you are having issues, let's go ahead and start off by figuring out your internet's upload speed. Now, you may think you have 300 megabyte internet, but you probably don't because most ISPs, most internet service providers actually just market the download speed. For example, when we got internet at this house, they told us we were getting 400 megabyte per second internet. Now, I knew that wasn't true and that that wasn't the upload speed. That was just the download speed. I had to dig and like ask and be like, what is our upload speed going to be? And it's 20 megabytes. See the difference there? We have a 400 download speed and a 20 upload speed. So that's something you need to figure out. And figuring out is pretty simple. Just go to the speed test link in the description down below and it'll do a speed test for you. And it literally will give you your upload speed and your download speed as well as your average ping to whatever server it's pinging at. It is very, very easy and very, very simple to get this number. And it's something you're going to need to know before you start Twitch streaming. Now, once you do have your upload speed, it's going to be in megabytes and you need it in kilobytes. So we need to convert it. Now, all you're going to do is move the decimal point three places, right? So we're going to have to go back to school here. But basically, if you have a 30 megabyte per second upload, right? You're going to move the decimal point three places, add three zeros on the end, and you have a 30,000 kilobyte per second upload speed. However, if you have a 3.6 megabyte per second upload speed, right? See where that point's at? We would move it next to the six and then move it to more places, adding two more zeros for 3,600 kilobytes upload speed. I'll also link a converter in the description if you don't want to do that manually, but it's really easy to do. Just move the decimal three points and you're done. And once you figure out your upload speed in kilobytes, we can actually start to look at the max bitrate you can stream at. And the reason we need to convert it to kilobytes is because bitrate is in kilobytes. It's not in megabytes, it's in kilobytes. Now, how much of this upload speed can you use as your bitrate, right? Because what we're doing is your bitrate is how much data Twitch is receiving you nor sending to Twitch at the same time. So your bitrate can't be higher than your upload speed. Well, I wouldn't recommend using more than two thirds of your upload speed at any given time for your bitrate. For example, if you have a 3000 kilobytes per second upload speed, I wouldn't recommend using more than 2000 kilobytes per second as your bitrate, which is actually usable on Twitch. And you're going to get some okay results with that. I mean, it's not going to be like crystal clear or 60 FPS quality, but 2000 bit rate can get the job done at like 720p, 30 FPS, just getting your stream out there to get started streaming. I mean, streaming and growing a channel takes a long time anyway, so you can upgrade in the future, but starting now never hurt anybody. But anyway, now that we've got that figured out, what kind of bit rate do you need for different streaming qualities? Well, for 1080p, 60 FPS streaming, you're going to need anywhere between 4,500 to 6,000 kilobytes per second bitrate, right? So anywhere between 4.5 megabytes and 6 megabytes or 4,500 to 6,000 kilobytes per second of bitrate. Meaning you would probably want anywhere between a 6,000 to 8,000 kilobytes per second upload speed, right? So that's kind of what you're looking at there. That's for 1080p 60 FPS crystal queer quality. What about 1080p 30 FPS though? Well, that's going to be 
100 to 5,000 kilobytes per second for your bitrate. So not bad there. If you have like a 6,000 kilobytes per second internet, you're gonna be able to stream at a 1080p 30fps without any problems. But you can also stream at 720p 30fps if that'll work for you because it's actually 3,500 to 5,000 kilobytes per second recommended as well. Now last but not least is 720p 30fps and if you have pretty bad internet, this is where you're going to be wanting to stream. And that's going to be anywhere from 2,000 to 4,000 kilobytes per second, 2,000 being the low end, like I said, just getting it out there, and 4,000, 720p, 30fps, you'll be able to play and game and all that stuff, and people will be able to see your stream pretty clearly, but not crystal clear. So, there you guys have it, that is what you can do, that is what your bitrate is. Overall, you will need at least 3.5 megabytes per second to 4.5 megabytes per second to stream on Twitch, and that is going to be that 720p 30 FPS low end streaming. If you want to do high end streaming, you're going to need anywhere between 6 megabytes per second to 8 megabytes per second internet. Nothing crazy. For example, 20 megabytes per second internet here is perfectly fine for any and all streaming that we want to do, as well as uploading YouTube videos and stuff like that. So. In general, I think most people can stream these days if they have an updated modern internet in the United States or everywhere else it can be kind of different and there's all sorts of factors. But if you can get a 5 megabyte per second upload speed, you can just barely stream. And if you can get like a 10 megabyte per second upload speed, you'll be able to stream no problem. Nevertheless, if you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. And if this video did help you figure out your Twitch bitrate, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more awesome content exactly like this. My name is Nick, this has been The Breakdown, and I am out. Peace.